Alright, we do it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I got science. Science? Yeah. yeah, I remember, actually, with science, I remember we had to do a report once, and it was the only time that I worked, like, it was the hardest I ever worked, and it was because, like, he gave, like, a £10 prize. Oh, God. <laughs> so you do it for the money? <laughs> and I was doing it for the money. I put, like, glitter on it. So I've got schoolmates, me being the black kid at school, or, like, my parents being Ghanaian wasn't something to be laughed at, it was always something they were intrigued by. Yeah. So when my friends would come around for, for dinner, and my mum was like, oh, um, I can remember the first time I had some mates around, she was like, I don't know what to cook them, do I cook them? We usually have traditional Ghanaian food, jollof rice, um, light soup, groundnut soup, all that sort of thing. Mm. Well, they like it, so she was, I think she was a bit worried that, you know, she didn't want these kids to go home unfed and be like, oh, you know, they went around to the doo-doo's house and yeah, 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 they were yeah. fed like sheep's bladder and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but like they would come around and she'd be yeah, there yeah. putting up sausage eggs and beans and they're like, oh, we want what you guys are having. So that's when I knew that my friends, who were yeah, my friends, became yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, they wanted to try and figure out a little bit more about my, um, about my culture. Did they want to sit together or was it quite similar? No, it was quite like, it was quite different. Yeah. Like everyone was like, no one stuck together racism and stuff. Right. People like, so, like, hung out. Yeah, it was like prison gangs. Like, like, yeah, 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 it wasn't like that. It was like, everyone was like, cool. But what, what I find interesting about my schoolmates is that like, I think because we grew up together mm. and like, we met each other in like year seven or whatever, and then we were like all like young and figuring out like who we were as people together. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, grind, like listen to music, like loads of them listen to Garage as well, loads of, yeah. like whatever, like we kind of all figured it out together. It was very different, a very different experience when I went to university, because when I went to university, again, I was one of the only, I was the only black guy in my year and one of the only right. two black people in my year. But when I walked in, because you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big black guy, there was a perception about my experiences, mm. which was which didn't exist with my schoolmates because we'd grown up, yeah, grown yeah. up with each other. Music, music, um, music, music at school. All right. I don't want to really talk about music lessons. I could just talk about like my music experience. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah. I think I remember my school bus. Uh, a bit of context. My school bus took better part of two hours to get there from Withensee to Hull, and the best part of that was like. All the kids on the school bus would literally let me loads of different CDs, mm. and I remember getting into this. Have you ever listened to Incubus? Because oh. of this girl who was like, I think she was in sixth form at the time. Yeah. So when you're in like 11 years old, yeah. and the sixth form girls are like, oh my god, you know what I mean? They're like the best out there because yeah, like yeah, yeah. all your hormones are running wild. And then when they, when they show you any little bit of attention, like they recommend something mm -hmm. to you, you go for it. If it wasn't listening for them, it, I think my whole relationship with alternative. And guitar music would have been totally different. Me, um, I don't remember any music lessons. No, I remember, I remember music. I don't remember any music lessons. I can't even remember the music teacher. Nothing. You don't remember those sort of like huge archaic keyboards which just have the samples like, oh yeah, like, yeah, well, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I do, I do. I, I was trying to think about the school, the room at school, when at school, when we did have oh no. I remember that we had a school class too, and it was um, Wheatus. Oh, Tina's Dead, right? Yeah, I remember that we got a shout out on, on the radio for our class. Because, like, we always used to sing all the time. What? <coughs> detention. Alright, do you want to go? Um, I remember the one, det I said the one detention story, like it ever happened, like it only happened once. Um, <laughs> there was this kid called Miles. This was in, I think I was in year 13. Yeah. And. <laughs> We was all sat there in detention, and he pretends to do this thing where it's like, guys, guys. So he's pretending to fart. And it's like, <gasps> and he pretended like he followed through, and everyone was like, oh shit. And it's just, it was really funny at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't strike me as the type of guy that would have been in detention. Really? That's Not hilarious. A, well, maybe. I was in detention what, all the time. From what I've heard from the extra, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, the yeah. first couple of years. But I reckon that like, as you got older, things would have leveled out. I think I broke my school record for okay. detention. There's a picture of you on the wall, like, what's detention's like? This one. You've said it, you've seen it. First day. Yeah, oh I've seen it, I've God. seen it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So my first day of school grammar school, I remember bawling my eyes out. Like, Did you cry? Yeah, I cried from all, all the, the drive from Withensee to Hull, 
all the way. I was just in tears. I was just like, Mom, why are you making me do this? I feel yeah. so happy with my friends. What was if I don't have any friends? What was if they don't like me? So yeah, the scene in the play, which kind of alludes a bit to my first day, when I got into a fight. <gasps> yeah, it's what the environment that I came from, I went to uh, a school that was quite that was quite rough, then I went to a grammar school. Mm. Um, and the school that was quite rough, like if you had a problem, you fought. Right. <laughs> we, yeah. had, we had a ranking system. Yeah. There was a guy, it was Jacob, he was the best, then there was Nathan, like, and every day you had a fight. And so um, in, in the way that we dealt with like confrontation, like that's what you do. And I was confronted by this kid, kid quite aggressively on the first day. And like my immediate reaction was just to be like, Rah! and I jumped on him, <laughs> I jumped on him and I bit his neck. Um, <laughs> yeah, a I bit technique. his neck. I remember this really badly. And then my mum got called in and she was like, first day. And I was like, yeah. But it was such a different, and I think the thing is, yeah, it was such, he, his, it was about me being like a feral like street kid, but it was also about just like, just the different ways that people like interact. Cause like for him, like, you're just rude and snide to people. Yeah. Like that's the cult. I think that was the culture that he used yeah, to. Yeah. Like you're rude, you're snide, you're like mean spirited, and then like people are like do that back to you. But why? When, when like if you did that to somebody where I grew up with, that was a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah, I got detention on my first day. My mum got called in. Uh, yeah, all of that stuff. <laughs>